everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to work a Royal Ridges crochet edging around the edge of a crochet afghan or another project. Today specifically we are working our edging around the squares of our Make It Your Way crochet along uh, blanket and if you have been following me in this crochet along congratulations we are almost done at this point in the crochet along you will have joined all of your squares together in a previous video I demonstrated how to work this single crochet in the front loop only join uh, you can find that here on my channel and then today we're going to work this very easy royal ridges edging this is option one for the crochet along edging portion and uh, for the edging and the join you're going to need about a total of 300 yards of your worsted weight yarn i am using the uh, and have been using the vanna's choice yarn by lion brand and there's about 145 yards per ball so you're going to need about two of these to work the edging and the previous join uh, you can do it in any color and uh, if you would like to check out the other edging that we're going to do uh, you'll find that uh, video here under the make it your way crochet along playlist so let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started now if you are new here to my channel or simply you haven't already I invite you to take a look around and subscribe the channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials if you're looking for the written instructions for the Royal Ridges edging you'll find that in the description of this video and uh, you can uh, the direct link is there for you so for our edging today what we're going to do is you can start anywhere on your blanket in any corner uh, any edge it's really up to you but you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by joining your yarn and when you join you're going to join under both loops you can join with a slip stitch and then chain one for the first round of the Royal Ridges edging you'll chain one and you're simply going to work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around you know what I'm actually going to pull out here and go to a different corner and start just before the corner so I can show you how you're going to work those so once again join with a slip stitch anywhere in your blanket all of your squares are joined together by now you're then going to chain one and work a half double crochet you're going to work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around your blanket you're just working into the tops of these stitches when you come to your corner three stitches so I have one two three into your center corner stitch you're going to work three half double crochet stitches so this is my corner into that corner work three one two and three and then you're going to continue along the other side of your blanket and half double crochet into each stitch all the way across all the way to the next corner and then you can work your three in the corner and continue along when you come all the way around you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch as you are coming around the sides of your blankets you will come to your seams uh, now what I like to do when I come to the seam because it is a little bit of a wider gap you can either just work half double crochets into the corners it's really up to you whatever makes it look the best but I like to work through the seam the top stitch of that seam and then into the center uh, the join of the blanket just to kind of bring it all together so I'm going to bring my hook all the way through it's going to pull it up a little bit and then complete my half double crochet then continue on along working the edging you'll want to pull that stitch a little bit tight uh, as you continue on 
but I just wanted to show you that before I come and finish this first round of my edging. When you come all the way around at the end of round one, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Now for rounds two and three and really for as many rounds as you would like. So if you'd like a thicker edging than mine, mine's about one, one and a half inches. Uh, if you'd like it thicker, you can keep going, keep adding rounds as you go. Uh, I just worked this for rounds two and three. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue working half double crochet stitches, but this time we're going to work them in the third loop only. So when you look at the front of your stitch, you have the front and then you have the top of your stitch and normally you would work into uh, the top of your stitch under these top two loops. If you pull your stitch forward and look at the back of your stitch, you will see a horizontal bar that runs along under this top back loop. So you have your back loop and then you see a horizontal bar that runs just along under that loop. That's your third loop. So there it is in that stitch. I'll pull my hook out. This is the next stitch. It's your third loop. So we're going to work into that stitch only. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third loop at the back, yarn over, drop a loop, and yarn over and pull through two for your half double crochet. You're going to work half double crochet stitches into the third loop all the way around. Once again, when you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches into the back third loop only of that corner stitch. So I'm coming around here. This is actually I'm in my yes, I'm in my corner stitch. So there's one stitch, then two into the back third loop only and three into that third loop only. Then you can turn your work and then continue working along. You're going to wor work half double crochets in the third loop only all the way around then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and then repeat once again for round three. At the end of round three you, if you would like you can fasten off, weave in your ends and that's it or once again if you would like a thicker edging with more ridges you can just keep going and work as many rounds as you would like but that's how you work the Royal Ridges blanket edging and you can see the tops of your stitches folding forward to create this nice ridge of texture. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye! Mm -hmm.